All right, I can't sit back and just ignore this anymore. I feel like I need to speak out because I am so incredibly sick of seeing some fans bully and criticize Camila Cabello for her every move. Since when did bullying your idol become a thing? Say it with me now, guys, WTF. You have no idea how much you mean to us. Like, I mean it. We love you guys so much. So these days, it seems like Camila just can't catch a break. I mean, some fans have her under a freaking microscope. Between receiving hate for her solo projects, to being criticized for every social media post, and even getting backlash for being friends with Taylor Swift, you guys. Why you gotta be so mean? This past weekend, one fan even decided to slut shame Camila because she was in the studio with Diplo. Interesting, isn't it? While the girls were on Britney's concert, Camila was with Diplo. What a shame. To which Camila responded, well, isn't that ironic? A fan of a group who only talks about feminism and supporting women that work hard in their line of work leaves a shaming comment like this. A woman and a man can work together without a woman having to offer her body for it. Yes! Get it, girl. Now, let me ask you a question, okay? So why are we hating on C for doing something she loves to do? Imagine this. What if your friends just started, you know, hating on you for being you? That would be awful, and you'd probably have to get new friends. I don't want to be your friend. You're a real straight shooter. Now, a lot of the drama with Camila started when her and Sean released I Know What You Did Last Summer. While it was a hugely successful song, it was actually a really hard time for Camila. She recently opened up to Seventeen magazine saying, It's been so difficult to watch people criticize me and my intentions. It's been they turned me doing the song into a conspiracy theory. We literally just wrote a song backstage and it ended up becoming something awesome. It wasn't a career move that I carefully planned out. And the thing is, you guys, the girls of 5H are their own individuals who have their own personal dreams and aspirations. And yes, Fifth Harmony is one of them, but they also have more. Dinah had the dream of being the voice of a Disney princess, Normani has her dance passion project, Lauren has been very vocal about writing her own music, and Ali is the ambassador for March of Dimes, and she just did a stellar Time After Time cover with the band Echo Smith. If you fall, I will catch you. Now, is it just me, or does it seem like the other girls are being supported for their side projects, but Camila, not so much. So why? That's not fair, you guys. Okay, obviously I understand harmonizers worry about the future of 5H, but the thing is, is that if you're a true fan, you'll support the girls as a whole and also as individuals. Plus, let's be real, they're killing it right now. Their current single, Work From Home, is one of their biggest to date, and their new album, 727, comes out next month. It is a time to be excited. There's no room for negativity in this fandom, so why are we tearing down one of the members to a point where she's feeling about herself? That's only gonna push her further away. It's time to show our support like we've never shown it before, because guess what? They need us. Seriously. Ooh, okay, sorry about that. I totally came in like a But I can't help it because I'm kind of feeling like a All right, you guys, let's go ahead and take it to the WTF lesson of the day. You never look good trying to make other people look bad, so just be nice. All right, you guys, so what do you think about the fact that Camila's receiving all this hate? Let's go ahead and talk it all out in the comment section below. And you guys, don't forget to subscribe. If you did that, that would be great. For Hollywood.com, I'm Chelsea Briggs, and I'll see you later. For more WTFs, go ahead and click that box on the left. And to watch one of our Fifth Harmony interviews, click the box on the right and subscribe.